Alright, we're back at the Equinox here. This is a follow-up video to the front brake job I did the other day. I can throw a card out right here if you haven't seen it. Uh, faithful viewer, subscriber, and all-around great guy Devin mentioned that the uh, caliper pin boots were kind of ratty. And he asked, why didn't you just go ahead and replace them while I had it all apart? And you know, that's, that's actually a good point and a good question. Uh, the reason I didn't replace them is because I didn't have them. And I really should have just ordered them when I ordered the brakes. So I bit the bullet, went to the local auto parts store, and bought some for probably twice as much as what I could have ordered them for. I'll link to these parts down below, too. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just replace the caliper pin boots. Now, this should be quick and painless. We shouldn't have to remove anything but the uh, caliper pin bolts. Remove the caliper real quick. We'll slide the pins out, replace the boots, maybe add a little bit more grease, and we're done. Thank you, Devin, for keeping me honest. We're going to go ahead and swap these out right now. Twenty-two millimeter on the lug nuts. All right, here we go. Uh, I just did the brakes on this vehicle on Tuesday. It's now Saturday, and I just posted the video. So if you have, uh, if you watch that video, you may not need to watch this one. 14 millimeter here on the bolt, 18 millimeter wrench here if it spins. Ours would have because uh, I just replaced the, uh, I just greased the pin. So, uh, Devin also noted that I haven't been doing much work on the Sierra and I've been doing all the uh, work on the uh, Equinox. I'm going to get the lower one here. Let me reposition the camera. All right. So, uh, there is a method to my madness here. This Equinox did, definitely needs the work. Uh, but I do have some work coming up on the uh, Sierra as well. I'm going to be doing the shock struts, wheel bearings. See that sock is cockeyed here. Uh, but my son just got his permit, and he he actually enjoys driving this Equinox more so than the truck. And I'm actually fine with that. So I'm just making sure that this uh, Equinox is safe for him. Let me reposition the camera here. All right. So at this point, the caliper itself can be pulled off we can leave the bracket in place and uh, again if you want to see the full brake job I'll I've already linked to it but I'll link to it at the end as well of this video so um, what you might want to do because we're going to need a little bit of play when we put this caliper back on and it's really not going to be necessary to use a c-clamp like we do when we have to compress it fully but kind of wiggle it side to side because that's going to help force that piston in and then it should come right out okay we'll set that up out of the way you can take a piece of wire and hang it off the uh, strut coil if you want um, but this is going to be a quick job here these are the pins here and we pull them right out okay what I'll do is I'm going to set this down I may add a little bit more grease uh, to the pins you know just because we're going to be replacing the boots the boots also should just pull right out I say they should just pull right out okay I don't think the boots were quite as bad as as maybe Devin thought and I thought as well I think a lot of it's just that I didn't do a good job cleaning them up there's definitely no tears in them but it's a fairly inexpensive uh, part, especially if you buy them on Amazon or Rock Auto, local parts stores. You know, you think these things would be 50 cents, right? I think a bag of the, uh, a bag of just these for four is like seven bucks. All right, get a shot of it here. You can run the pin in and out a couple times and try to get a little bit of the old grease off. But the grease I have in there uh, is fairly new, just uh, just a few days old. But these boots here, this piece goes on the inside, and what you can do is kind of get it started on the bottom and then take a screwdriver or you know carefully you don't want to tear your new boots and we'll be in a situation where we have to use the old ones try to get it in there sometimes it can be a pain and fight you a little bit okay just like that not terribly difficult okay I'm going to do the bottom one here and I'll try not to block the shot I do thank Devin for, uh, you know, calling me out, keep me honest. It does make sense, you know. I always uh, say the money you save uh, doing these jobs yourself certainly pays for the tools, and it certainly pays for, uh, you know, things like the boots. If we were doing this, uh, if we had a, you say the dealership do this, it'd be astronomical, I'm sure, for a brake job. And you can buy the parts you want. Spend a little bit more on the parts. I'm probably blocking the shot here. I apologize. We'll make sure it's in there all the way. And it's not. All right, there we go. Uh, 
So again, if you need tools, if you need boots, just buy them. I should have uh, mentioned that in the first video. But remember, Devin, there are no mistakes. They're only happy accidents. All right, so I'm just going to use a little bit of this uh, brake pin lube. It came with the uh, came with the brake kit from Power Stop. Okay, and I'll, I'll link to these parts down below. I did on the uh, original video as well, um, along with some uh, less expensive options. Okay, but uh, these Power Stop kits, I think they're nice. They come with everything. Come with the uh, the pads, the rotors, uh, the brake tins. Okay, so what I'm going to do here on the on this one, I'm just going to push it in all the way until we see that boot snap up over, and I just saw it. Wipe off a little of the excess here. And then check for uh, free movement, okay? Should be a little bit of resistance, especially on the one that has the, uh, the little black uh, rubber end on it, okay? Now let's grease this one up. So I am uh, waiting for the rear brakes to show up. I think they'll show up today. And if that uh, if that happens, I will uh, I'll probably record that video. I don't know when I'll get all of these posted, but um, I do appreciate the fact that people take the time to leave comments and make recommendations and um, push it down all the way. Give me that thumbs up if you do find it helpful. Obviously, this one was kind of a just a follow up video, kind of a fun one while I wait uh, for the rear brakes to come in. Now at this point. We shouldn't have to compress the uh, the caliper piston at all or very much. So what you could actually do, you know, you don't need to use a C-clamp. You can actually put the uh, piston against this back side of the uh, brake pad and just kind of push on it. Okay, again, we took it off and we didn't uh, add any thickness. You know, we didn't add a new rotor. We didn't add new pads. Uh, so it should go back on. Um, then you may need to push the caliper pins in to get the ears on by it. Okay, there we go. Alright, what we'll do now is tighten these down. Alright, so we'll get these started and uh, threaded by finger first. You can see I've abandoned the gloves. I don't know how you guys do it. I did buy some 9mm uh, latex heavy-duty gloves at Harbor Freight and they make my hands sweat worse than Oprah driving by a Golden Corral. I mean, I, I, I can't work with them. So I guess I'm just going to be uh, destined to be a grease monkey here all the time. I have to tap that on a little bit more. Just kind of wiggle it or tap it around till you feel that bolt drop in. Okay. All right. We'll get them tightened down here with the uh, ratchet. Whoops. Must have bumped my camera here. And then we'll uh, bust out the uh, 3 8 inch torque wrench. I hardly ever use it. All right, so anyways, thanks for watching. I appreciate uh, everyone who takes the time to leave comments and questions and hit that subscribe button. Thumbs ups also help me out tremendously in the uh, YouTube Google Analytics engine. And that's it, not much. I definitely over tightened them last time around, but that's okay. We got them off. I gotta stick my head in here. Sorry about that. Um, what I'm gonna try to do, because uh, actually posting videos like this gives me something to respond to the trolls with. The people who uh, will jump on and slam me for not using the torque wrench, or jump on and slam me for not replacing the boots, and um, sometimes it's justified. It's just the way they go about it. So at least then I could just kind of link to this video and say I did it. Okay, that's all we're looking for. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and questions and comments below. Have fun.